Headline is reporting that Suicide Squad director David Ayer is in early negotiations to direct Universal's remake of Scarface. Diego Luna is attached to star in the movie, which will be a reimagining of the immigrant story told in both the 1932 and 1983 film versions. In this new version, Luna will play Mexican immigrant with the events taking place in modern day Los Angeles. John Herman and the Coen brothers have penned the most recent version of the script, with production looking to move forward soon in order to hit the August 10, 2018 release. Jeremy, what do you think about David Ayer directing Scarface? Well, this is the thing about David Ayer is like he, he's not just the director of Suicide Squad. He's a director of Fury. He's a director mm -hmm. of End of Watch. The dude has done. He did End of Watch, right? I'm oh, not yes. making that yeah. Okay. Um, so, I mean, the dude has sometimes. Tom knows, Holland directed yeah, End Tom of Watch. Holland, yeah, <laughs> Tom Holland Hardy directed uh, End of Watch. But, I mean, so. I mean, I you know I like Suicide Squad, but there is definitely uh, th there's some sort of studio tampering in there. So I, I, whether or not you like Suicide Squad, I I don't want that to be like, well, no, I I didn't like Suicide Squad, so he's the bad choice. I think the dude is a good choice for doing a Scarface movie. I, I a Scarface remake is fine also because if you hate remakes scarface itself is a remake so you like a remake congratulations so i mean i i have no reason to not like this movie this concept of david Ayer doing it so yeah bring it on go yeah. for it i love the idea i mean i i'm excited to see a new version of scarface yeah there's already been a couple of remakes of scarface mm -hmm. why not have this newer version this newer story this newer retelling uh david Ayer is a great director um he's not going to be doing Gotham City Sirens. So that's kind of like the, the one, if you were caring about that film, they just lost their director because there's no way that they're going to be, be able, unless they're going to push it off for three more years. If they but push that off and put Batgirl into that spot well, and yeah. try to get Batman out earlier. It May, could work. Yeah, you know, it's the DC uh, Cinematic Universe has like 17 announced films and none of them are <laughs> shooting yet. So all of us have to wait and decide right. like, Look, I want to see any one of the films that they're talk or pondering about actually going into production on. I'm really excited about. It. I can't wait to Wonder Woman. We're going to get to see that, so that's really exciting. Gotham City Sirens, probably a little bit of wait, but oh boy, Scarface, bam! I'm excited. All right, guys, prepare yourselves. We're going to do something I don't do often on this show. I'm going to make a sports reference. Hang on, Schnapp. <laughs> what? Hang on. What? Is it David Ayer is a guy with a high ceiling? What I mean by that is, whenever your favorite team starts a season, you're like, they could win the championship, but I'm a little nervous about some of the players, so they could fall. They could finish in the bottom of the division. David Ayer has done great work, as John's mentioned, with Fury and End of Watch. He also did the Arnold Misfire Sabotage. He also did Street Kings, which are still the movies that feel like they could belong in this universe. So I think if we get high ceiling David Ayer, like End of Watch, I thought was brilliant. I think it was an incredibly made movie. If that's the kind of David Ayer we get for this new Scarface remake, then I'm totally on board. It just it bothers me still a little bit that this is a Scarface remake and not just a movie about the Mexican cartels bringing in drugs starring Diego Luna. Like, like I, I could have gone for that. The fact that they're hanging on to that Scarface name because it's such a popular property still gives me a little bit of apprehension, but with David Ayer on board, I'm a little more confident. What he's saying, guys, is as long as he's not mana starved, he gets that... Uh, <laughs> that vampire <laughs> Nighthawk out there. He can have a flying death, death touch lifelink, and I think it can all work out for everybody. You're still 0-4 against me in Magic, are you not? Uh, I think it's three. <laughs> I think it's four, but maybe it's three. Uh, look, it's <laughs> Fury is look fury is is not a masterpiece of a movie it's a great movie though i really like it but it is a master class in directing mm -hmm. that whole movie is based on the directing when you've got the cast in that movie that you got and you direct i think shia labeouf's greatest performance ever mm -hmm. was in that movie i mean that's the movie that made us go oh yeah i forgot that kid can actually that, act. that movie made me understand tank strategy Yes. <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh, my God, this is scary. It's so well directed, that entire, like, 10-minute tank sequence. Yeah, I, I think this would be fantastic for this. And, and, yeah, like, you can have your opinion about Suicide Squad, but understand Suicide Squad is a massively different kind of a film than something like Scarface would be, which would be more akin to some, something like End of Watch or, uh, or Fury or things like that. Air has shown he can direct this stuff. Beautifully, so mm -hmm. this is nothing but good news. So for me, yeah, this is a no-brainer. If Diego Luna starts doing this in the third act, though, <laughs> I might get a little nervous. <laughs>